little movement right here? Yeah. Is that because my tape measure isn't working right? No. If I just take my tape measure and every time I use it, I drop it in, I bang it. I bring it out further, I drop it in, I bang it. Every time I do that, I'm putting more tension on this little part right here. And maybe that would slide a little more than I want it to. Because I want it to slide. You know why I want it to slide? Because if I'm taking a tape measure and I hook it on something, let's say I hook it right here and I want to get the measurement from point A to point B, I hook it on, watch this will, watch this will slide just a little. You see that? Watch it again. It'll slide. See it move? See how my, right there, those rivets? Watch, see, now they're moving. Okay, so now when I take it across here, I have the measurement here of 14 and an eighth. Okay, but let's say now I want to take an inside measurement. So if I take a measurement inside, watch what happens to the rivet, the tip. It's going to slide. Boom, it slides. Okay, you know how much that slides? It slides the thickness of the end right there. That's to give me an accurate measurement if I hook it or if I push it. That allows for that movement. That's why it's important when you're done with your tape measure, let it slam on your finger and then let it go in.